And here it is. The final match. Portland Polytoads versus the Halcyon Hatterenes. The final set of the PNWBN Summer 2022 Draft Battle. Oh boy. We're almost done. There's uh, no more Sword and Shield after this match. After this, it's Scarlet and Violet, and it's it'll be great. But... That is then. This is now. First things first. We have one more opponent to get through. And it'll be good. I'm excited. So we had a... We had a fairly strong victory against... Against Franny the first time. Which was last week. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if that showing uh, shows up again. Um, Hatterene, Porygon 2, the Trick Room stuff. Passimian instead of Grapplocked. That's cool. She went for speed over defense. Cool. Ghosty Boys and... Yeah, okay. Perfect. I actually think my team is pretty well set up to deal with her team. But I guess we'll find out if it is enough. So we didn't even bring, bring Clefairy last time. Do we even need to bring Clefairy at all? Hitmonlee is not a bad bring, but I hesitate because of all the ghost types. The fake outs are not going to work as well as I hope they are. But we're going to try it anyway. We're, we're going to see how things work out. Um, I kind of want to open Hitmonlee Landorus like last time. What does she have that's physical? Just Copperaja and Passinian. <sighs> I can hear. I don't know if we want to bring Cursula this time around. Yeah, we'll lead with this, and when Landris does its Swippy Swap, we'll just Swippy Swap it into Bronzong, and hopefully Bronzong won't just get destroyed. Good luck, Franny! Congratulations to making it to the finals after stepping in halfway through. Your husband did the same thing and won the whole thing back in Draft 3. Can you do it now? Maybe, but I'm going to make it hard for you. So she opened both ghost types, which means no fake out from Hitmonlee. But we can just hit this Blacephalon really, really hard. And we can just hit this Jellison. No, it's still this Blacephalon really, really hard. Who do we have him back? Nothing I really want to swap Landorus out for. <laughs> I guess we'll just press for some damage and see what we can do. Maybe we can take out Blacephal on turn one. So, uh, Focus Ash? Focus Ash, okay. Glad I didn't swap into Torkoal. Oh, but the burn. Oh, the burn. That's fine. We can go into Torkoal safely now. Especially if she decides that she wants to... What's the move? The big water one, the more damage, the more HP your... The more HP your Pokemon has. <laughs> yes, we won't find out! Alright, so let's get a Yawn on Jellicent and put some pressure on there. We're just gonna keep Rock Sliding from here, because we know we're faster than Blastephalon, so... She can either swap or protect, but Blacephalon's going down if she doesn't do something about Landorus right now, and I don't think she can. She's going to pull Blacephalon, so we're just going to get some free damage. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> My attack! Landorus is probably coming out next turn, because I don't know what's on that Porygon 2, but if I were to guess, uh, there's probably at least the Water Spout! That was the move I was trying to remember. Oh my gosh, Landorus, you champ. Oh. 
Let's see. Do we want to press it for more damage? It's it's recovering life, so we really we really only need to stall it for a single turn. Uh, but Hitmonlee is not going to survive that. He might. I'm going to bring in Bronzong regardless. I There might be a Shadow Ball in that Porygon too, but I'd like to confirm it. I'd like to know what it has. It's got like three moves that I'm terrified of. She didn't swap out Jellison, she just wanted more damage. Bronzong's thick. Bronzong is now thicker. And it does have an ice beam. Okay, Jellison's going to sleep this turn, we can swap. Torkoal out and bring Hitmonlee in. She still has the Blessed Cephalon in back, but I want to make sure that I can preserve the sunlight for Torkoal if we need it for a little bit later. So we're just going to bring that in right now and get an iron defense up. Because Jellison's going to have at least one turn where it's got to be asleep, so there's nothing coming out of that slot for at least a turn, whether she swaps or not. Okay, she's swapping out. Passimian's over there, both her ghost types are in the back. Eww. Oh, the crit! Yikes! That's fine. It would have been nice to get some more use out of the fake out. But instead, we're just going to get some, uh, an yeah, earthquake out of Landorus. I don't think the crit, I, I do think the crit mattered. Um, Hitmonlee's defense is, or special defense is surprisingly high, and Porygon 2's attacks are not, are not as high as a result of how bulky it is. Oh my gosh, look at everything. I am the fastest! I don't think that's gonna work, but we're gonna try anyway. We're just gonna put up another iron defense. Oh, we're still faster even after the adrenaline orb. That's cool. Ow. Despite your boosts, I'm fine. All right, harsh sunlight's gone. The knockoffs hurt. The knockoffs hurt a lot. But one more iron defense and they shouldn't matter. Who knows, maybe this fly will just kill it. Ooh, good protect, strong protect. But that does give me one more turn to iron defense, and that's really what I needed. Goodbye, Landorus! Okay, Bronzong is packing. It is packing as hard as it can pack. Can Bronzong just walk through her team? <laughs> Cause we're sure as P's gonna try. I don't regret ignoring Passimian. I know we were able to get two more iron defenses since its last knockoff. 
Okay, as long as she doesn't crit, we should we should be fine. As long as she doesn't crit, we should be fine. Melted. And that's going to turn this heat wave into a single target, so that'll be big. There's the miss. I knew it was going to come up sooner or later. All right, two ghost types remaining, so we can't just body press our way to victory. That Blast Teflon's going to hit like a truck, too. Boy, I wish Bronzong could do something about that, but oh well. I don't think Passivian is going to switch. If she's smart, she just doubles. She, is, she shouldn't even need to double. Oof. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, Bronzong down, Torkoal's all that's left. Oh, that crit. That crit didn't matter. That one didn't matter. Gunk shot. Interesting. I don't know how you're alive. You shouldn't be, but you are. And we get the burn. There's no way Torkoal's pulling this back two times in a row like this. Alright, so I like what I brought, but instead of Bronzong, because that's... The setup is kind of working, but when she brings her ghost types, it's it nullifies body press, which is really the thing I'm trying to boost, and the biggest reason to otherwise is Trick Room. And Trick Room hasn't really come up at all. Whoops, not yawn. I mean, we're just going to try and pick off this Passimian, and unless it misses, uh, that's, that's not happening. Yeah, GG. Alright, good game one. Let's adapt for game two. One down. Oh man, there was a crit in there that mattered, and and the whiff that mattered. That uh, that whiff on Passimian was huge because game that that second one would have KO'd it. Um, but that's what happens when you play with luck. For all the marbles, is she just gonna take it 2-0? The hope is not. So there's a gunk shot on Passimian that's probably aiming at Clefairy. Corsal is definitely coming this time. Bronzong uh, would be a good choice if we can get the Trick Room up. Maybe we set Trick Room early? And just keep doing what we were doing. I feel Hitmonlee was strong. But all the ghosts give me problems. The Defiant hurt too, so I don't know if we even want to bring Landorus. Um, maybe we swap Landorus out for Corsa like we did last time. Or for, for Cursula. Just open Bronzong, Hitmonlee, Torkoal, Cursula on the back. Yeah, we'll try this. We'll see what goes. Just about everything that, um, that Landorus has for coverage anyway is on something else that I brought with me, so... Hopefully he won't just be out there to, you know, bait ice beams. So this time we're just going to put the trick room up straight away and we're going to do a... F do we want to fake out into past Simeon or do we... Hmm. Tough call. It really depends on what Placephalon's gonna do. And without the sunset, I feel this is the safer move. 
And we can wide guard next turn. Oh, Hitmonlee avoided it. Bronzong's okay. He's not really boosting anyway. He's here for a trick room. I don't know if that boost is actually going to matter. We're going to find out, though. So we'll just Shadow Ball right there. And uh, we could Wide Guard, but if we can take out Passimian, that'd be even better. I really don't want to aim a fighting move over into that slot, though, in case she's got uh, Jellicent in the back. Maybe we just double Blacephalon, because I know it has a Sash. Ooh, Blacephalon going out. Okay. Porygon 2 coming in. Reckless don't do you no good, but you are immune to my Shadow Ball, and that kind of sucks. Ugh, that sucks. Okay, Trick Room's up, though. That's That was the goal. I think we're just going to swap Hitmonlee right out, honestly. Uh, but we're going to swap out into a knockoff, I think. I don't know. She might. But we have to respect Passimian. I feel the danger. It feels danger. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to yawn Passimian, and we're going to high jump kick Porygon. We're going to try very hard to not proc any Defiant boosts. That's fine, we had a feeling Hitmonlee was going out anyway. Hopefully there's not a knockoff that was going into Hitmonlee. It would be weird if there was, because it wouldn't be very effective. That would just be the call of the century, though. Oof, not very effective. It still hurts. Man, the poison, yikes. Yeah, we're just gonna keep spreading some yawns, and we're gonna protect a turn with Cursula in order to get past Simeon asleep. All right? We can af we can afford a turn, right? We still got time. Two turns to Trick Room. Eh, not much, but we got time. What were you scheming? Aiming at Torkoal this time. Ow! No! Stop! Okay, Passimian's asleep. That's good news for us. We can start just pushing out heat waves. And we'll try and just drain some health off past Simeon. If she swaps in to, uh, to Jellicent, that would be all the better. All the better. Oh, and she did! Oh, yikes! No stats. Cool. Ooh, that almost one-shot Jellicent right there. Well, that puts Cursal on a better spot. But I think Trick Room's over now. But Porygon 2's going to sleep. So we don't have to worry about pressure from it. Pretty sure Jellison outspeeds me, but 
I don't... The Shadow Ball's probably gonna hurt. We're gonna see what we can do, though. We gotta, we gotta at least will down Porygon to a little bit. Oh, just to swap it out. Oh, for Passimian, okay. At least that uh, attack's actually gonna connect. For some damage. I wish it was more. She's just trying to cover as much HP as she can so she can uh, water spout. The poison, it hurts. What do we do here? I think Cursal is gonna die no matter what. So I think we just try and try and drain some health if we can. And it, we're going to be fine. That was a lot more damage than I was expecting. Blech. No, he was the one we needed to hit with it. The poison, it hurts. Heat wave for damage. Do we. Can we swap Cursal out? I don't think it's a good idea to. Call me crazy? But protect feels like the right move, but we're not going to. We're, we're just going to play aggressive while her mons are asleep. Cephalon's over there. Oh my gosh, Passimian! Come on! Come on, dude! Just go down! Thank you! Porygon too, so Jellicent's still in the back with very little health. Oh, you're just gonna set the sun for you. <laughs> Not for me, for you. No. Do we just play aggressive? I feel like we have to. We have to take advantage of as many, many turns of sleep as she'll give us. Yeah, that's gonna do it for Corsola. Er, yeah. The sun was gonna be more than enough to make sure that Blacephalon had the damage it needed. All right, this next turn's tricky. Because I suspect a heat wave is coming. So if we can pick off this Porygon 2, life is great. If we can't, we're in trouble. Did we call the heat wave? No! We're just gonna get single targeted down! This match is over! Ah, <sighs> jeez. 
I thought we could read it, and we couldn't. And Porygon 2 is going to wake up, and yeah. Oh, and the barrel! Oh my gosh. When you're hot, you're hot, and when you're not, you're not. And I burned up all my luck in game one of the Elite Four. Will you stop with the field goals? Okay, Blacephalon's asleep. And unfortunately, everything that she has is uh, resistant to everything Torkoal can do. GG! There it is! We have a new champion! I have been dethroned! Congratulations, Franny! Way to take it! Two to nothing!